In today's lesson, we are going to look at the measures of central location, one of which is the mean, all right? So the definition is, this is the average of all values in the data set. So given a particular data set, the average, the average of all values in that particular data set is what we call the mean, okay? So below are the formulas for the mean, that is for ungrouped data. You must be very careful, there is a formula for grouped data and a formula for ungrouped data, okay? So this is a formula for ungrouped data. So the sample mean X bar, presented by X bar, is equal to the summation of Xi over N, okay? Then when it comes to the population mean, it's represented by mu, we call this mu, it looks like u, something like that. Uh, mu is equal to the summation of xi over capital letter N. This is very important that you, for the sample mean, you put a small letter N, then for the population mean, you put a capital letter N. Okay, so when you talk about XI, XI simply means the single, a particular single observation, all right, in the data set that you've been given, okay? So now when you add all those separate observations, okay, uh, that have been given in that particular data set, you get the summation of XI, okay, of those single observations then the number of those observations, okay? How many observations have we made? Have we made five observations? Have we made three observations? Is what we call our N. The same applies for the population. The only difference is that in this case, we are using parameters, which means the symbols that we are using here, like mu and capital letter N. And in this case, we are using statistics, okay? A statistic, okay? A particular characteristic of a sample. All right, so let's uh, do an example on the mean, all right? For ungrouped data, okay? So we are going to look at uh, the mean for grouped data in the next video. So look out for that and ensure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any video, okay? So Mayenga wanted to find out the average score of ECN students. She collected a sample of five students whose scores were 2.2, 3.1, 4, then we have 4.6, and then we have 4.8. What is the average score of the students? Okay, so the solution is here. So of course, you know, we are talking about the sample mean. It's very important to first identify what we are trying to talk about. So in this case, we are talking about the sample mean, all right? So in this case, X bar is equal to the summation of Xi over N, small letter N, where our N is 1, 2.2, 2, 3.1, 3, our 4, 4, 4.6, and five. And of course, they've already told us that she collected a sample of five students. So our n equals five. So let's add all these independent observations from each student. So a particular student scored 2.2, all right? And another one scored 3.1, another one scored four, and so on. So we can add them as you have seen here. So we're going to add them all together and divide them by five according to the formula. So if we add all the numbers in the numerator, we get 18.7, all right? So when we get 18.7, uh, we divide it by five. Therefore, our sample mean is going to be 3.74. All right, so that's it about, uh, uh, you know, the mean for ungrouped data, all right? So uh, whenever you are told to calculate the mean for group data, you can use those very formulas depending on whether the data requires you uh, to use the formula for the population mean or um, the sample mean, all right? So that's it for today's lesson. Thank you very much.